Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a Boca Marion install on the Johnny Morris Signature Series Reel model number JMX10SC. Guys, this is an older reel, but by far my favorite. I mean, this reel is a beast. You know, it's a real easy process to install these bearings. I like to take the handle off when I install the bearing underneath the tension knob. And on this model, you don't need any tools to take that handle off. I'll show you guys how to do that. You're going to need a small screwdriver or an X-Acto knife to remove the retainer clips around the bearings. This model has the uh, bearing on the spool shafts. You will need a spool pin pliers. Boca bearings makes a really nice one. You need a couple Q-tips. I like to use the Arden swabs, but you can just use standard Q-tips. Of course, you're going to need your bearings. I'm using the Orange Seal Boca bearings, and I'll put all the model numbers in the description below. I'm going to run these bearings dry. If you choose to oil them, definitely check out the Lightning Lube High Speed Oil by Boca Bearings. Some great stuff here. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to uh, go ahead and start with the bearing underneath the uh, tension knob. To remove this handle, you're going to tighten the drag down. Then you're going to pull back towards the reel on the star drag. You guys hear that click? Then just unscrew the handle. Great design here. Star drag, there's a spring on the shaft, watch that. Remove the tension knob. Let's go ahead and take that spring off so we don't lose it. Remove the side plate, push the Bass Pro button, push it in, turn it down, pull the spool out. Okay. Get your screwdriver. There's a little ring, a little retainer clip around this bearing. Put your thumb on half of it and lift up on the other side. There it is. If I can get it here, I'll show it to you guys. There it is. It's a little round ring. Get your Q-tip, put it in the center of the bearing, it'll come right out. Use your Q-tip, clean in that hole, get any oil or dirt out of there. Get your new bearing, set it in place, get your clip, your retainer ring. You can do this with your thumbs. just. Set it in place until you hear it click. Just make sure it's seated all around the bearing. Go ahead and put your tension knob back on. Okay, let's go ahead and do the uh, one on the left side cover. There's another retainer ring around this bearing. Put your thumb on half. Your exacto knife, your small screwdriver, lift up on the other half or the other side. This one looks a little bit different. Set that aside. Bearing pops right out. Get your Q tip. Get your bearing. Get your clip, your retainer clip. And you can just use your thumbs for this. Just make sure it's seated all around the bearing. Okay, that one's in place. Next, the bearing on the spool. You can see here there's a pin. Get your spool pin pliers. Put the pin on the pliers on the small um, part of the pin on the shaft. It's tapered. There's a small end and a fatter end. Put it on the small end. Put your hand underneath it so you don't lose it if it does pop out. Okay. So just pin aside. 
Put your bearing off. Get your Q-tip. Clean the shaft. Get your bearing. Get your pin. I so said the pin is tapered. Take the small part of the pin, put it in the, there's two holes of course on the shaft, put it in the bigger hole to start. Get your pliers, there's a slot, the side has a stop. Put that on the part of the pin that's sticking out. Let's see here, I'll probably be able to get this in the camera so you guys can see it. Just put that into the, uh, the pin on the stop of the pliers. Squeeze. Make sure the pin is centered. And you're done. So we're going to put it back together. Now you're going to as far as the drag starts, you kind of just push it on. And hold it in. Get your handle. Here, click, let it come back up. There it is. Okay, all done. Let's give her a spin. And there's no weight on the spool. Pretty good for no weight on the spool. spin. Alright guys, that's it. Hope that video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.